Hello, 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 everyone. I am Prophet Dr. Dana Reese. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I wanna invite you to subscribe to this channel so that you can receive notifications of future prophetic words that I will be releasing to you. And generally, I try to release at least one or two prophetic words every week. And I do it on a live stream and sometimes I do a condensed version. So what you're seeing now is a condensed version of a word that I released earlier live on Facebook and YouTube. And um, I just wanted to prepare this shorter version for those of you who were not able to watch the full version. Um, but I encourage you to watch the full version if you can, because sometimes I flow a little differently um, depending on how the Holy Spirit leads on these shorter videos. I speak peace and blessings to you in Jesus name and I decree and declare that every situation, every circumstance, every answer, every clarification that you need is coming to you speedily and powerfully by the might of the precious Holy Spirit. To God be the glory. You are blessed and highly favored in Jesus name so God um, spoke one phrase to me a couple days ago and he said I'm preparing an incredible life-changing place and people to receive you so prepare yourself to receive it and the scripture that he gave uh, gave me for you is Exodus 2320 and that scripture says Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place that I have prepared for you. And prepared means to make something ready beforehand, to put in a proper state of mind, to put things in a state of readiness, um, to be ready or able to do or deal with something. So God wants you to get prepared in advance so that you can move swiftly let's get strategically and precisely without delay in this season keep your ears in tune to the holy spirit and move with him don't get ahead of him but don't get behind him so god wants us to be parallel to the holy spirit like here's the holy spirit and here's you he doesn't want you lagging behind and he doesn't want you racing ahead and so this sounds very counterintuitive, but sometimes you've got to slow down in order to speed up. And so when you, when you read the New Testament and you look at the life of Jesus, one thing that you notice about him, he was always, he, he, he was always moving at a divine pace. He didn't let people pressure him or rush him. And in fact, when uh, they came to him and said, Lazarus is dead, he, he took his time. So Jesus moved at a divine pace. He moved according to his own sense of divine timing. And so Jesus was very, he moved, he moved steadily but, and consistently, but he also moved at a steady pace. He was very mindful and aware he knew when to speak and when to be silent. I feel the anointing right now. And so he actually drove the Romans and the Pharisees crazy because he didn't fit in any kind of box of how they thought he should be. He had his own rhythm. He, he was mindful and aware of everything around him. He didn't miss anything. He was sharp and he was precise. And so Jesus is our model. So God wants us to flow and operate and speak and think and pace ourselves in the same way that Jesus did. And so sometimes, you know, people might want you to rush ahead or they might try to push you to do something, but that's not the Holy Spirit. So we are to pace ourselves in timing with the Holy Spirit. And how do you do that? Well, first of all, you gotta know him and you gotta have a relationship with him because he's the one who will lead you into the future that God has for you. He's the one who will 
bring you to that Kairos moment and then speak to you and say, okay, now it's time to walk through the door. And so the most important person on the earth today is the Holy Spirit. He will tell you of things to come. He will be your advocate, your intercessor, your guide. He is the Spirit of truth. And He is your helper. He's here to help us. And so God's Word says that in Jeremiah that He knows the thoughts and the plans that He has for us to give us a future and to give us a hope. In Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. So what is the place that God has for you? It's going to be a place where you will prosper. Prosper means to be financially successful, to flourish physically, grow strong and healthy, to achieve economic success, to do well, succeed, or thrive. So the, the place that God has for you will be a place of prosperity. It will be a place where no harm will come to you. Harm is defined as physical or mental damage. So when no harm comes to you, it doesn't mean that weapons won't be prospered. It, it won't be formed against you. It means that the weapons will not prosper. The Word of God says that you will walk through the fire and not be burned. You will go through the water and you will not drown. Psalms 91 says that you are protected in the secret place of the Most High. No plague shall come near you. And so Isaiah 54, 17 says that in that coming day, no weapon turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication will come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. So vindication means to clear from an accusation, imputation, suspension, or the like to uphold or justify by argument or evidence. I'm a formal criminal defense lawyer. And so when I would take clients to jury trial, if they were acquitted, that meant that the charges were dropped and they were set free by virtue of the evidence that the lack of evidence thereof in the case of the prosecuting attorney. Also, vindication means to deliver from or regain possession under claim of title of property through legal procedure or to assert one's right to possession. I love this scripture. Proverbs 26, 27 says, If you set a trap for others, you will get caught in it yourself. If you roll a boulder down on others, it will crush you instead. Number three, the place and the people that God has for you, it's to give you a future. And so future is defined as events that will or are likely to happen in a time to come, a prospect for success or happiness. So God has a place for you that will give you hope, that will give you strength, that will give you peace. And so what you do now determines what will happen in your future consistency and showing up will get you there success is not a destination but a journey stay on the grid stay with god don't quit don't give up if god has given you divine assignment stay with that assignment until that assignment is finished and you will be promoted in the kingdom of god hallelujah 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 you know, there's promotions in the kingdom, and then there's earthly promotions. An earthly promotion would be like if you got, say, a job promotion. A promotion in the kingdom of God would be where maybe God promotes you to the office of a prophet or the office of an evangelist or a pastor. Maybe he gives you, uh, promotes you from assistant pastor to head pastor. So sometimes the two can overlap. But if you are walking in the will of God, God will promote you if you will stay with the preparation process and finish 
what he has called you to do. You know, preparation isn't always fun and it's usually not easy. We see where Esther had to soak in oil and prepare for 12 months before she could even meet the king, much less marry the king. But because she completed the preparation process, when she met the king, boom, the marriage came very quickly. David was prepared as a shepherd boy. He was on the backside of the desert. So when he had already, he had already conquered the lion and the bear, so when he came up against Goliath, he was prepared and he was ready. And then after he was anointed king, he went through another period of preparation before he actually took the throne. So we see that Joshua was prepared to lead the Israelites from, he was prepared to make the last leg of the journey into Canaan because he had been a protege of Moses and Moses had actually laid hands on him and released a spirit of wisdom upon him. It's not God's will for you to be broke. It's not God's will for you to be in a state of hopelessness. It is not God's will for you to be injured or harmed in any way. God is a good God. Psalms 23, 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So um, God wants to give you a hope. A hope is a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen, a feeling of trust. Hope is an optimistic state of mind that is based on expectation of positive outcomes with respect to events and circumstances in one's life or the world at large. A believer knows that their hope is solid and it's concrete evidence because it is grounded in the Word of God and we know that God cannot lie. Hallelujah to God be the glory. I prophesied in March that March, April, May, and June would be a season of divine manifestation. It will be a Cairo season. God is opening doors. With He's giving you new doors. He's bringing restoration. This is a season of the double portion. God is sending angels ahead of you to prepare a way for you. He has a divine purpose and plan for you. He's giving you beauty for ashes. He's opening new doors. He is sending forth divine replacements. Open your eyes and receive the anointing for prophetic vision and open your spiritual eyes to see what God is doing in this hour. I decree and declare the anointing of the Holy Spirit is upon you. Receive it and walk in it in Jesus' name. So you're an eagle. God's best is ahead for you. Let go of any and all limitations that you've imposed on yourself. God is a God of unlimited possibilities, and I prophesy, decree, and declare that he is leading you to be in the right place at the right time to receive the blessings that he has for you. I want to give you an opportunity to sow into this anointing. If you want to be on my next prophetic prayer call, which is April the 29th, so the last Thursday in April, that seat amount is $120. You will be on the prayer call. You will also receive a one-on-one -on -one call, prophetic call with me. You can sow a divine protection seed of $91 for Psalms 91 for divine protection for you, a friend, a family member, spouse. You can also sow a double portion seed, maybe a door shut, and you're believing God for two new doors. That's the kind of God I serve. Sow a seed of $40 for a double portion anointing. If you need favor to go ahead of you and for God to prepare the way for something, you can sow a seed of $23.20 for Exodus 23.20, a seed of $1,000, $1,023.20, or $230.20. If you need divine vindication, you can sow for you, or maybe you have a son in prison, a relative in prison. Maybe you're going through a court case or a legal case. Get a seed in the ground for divine vindication. That seed is $54.17 for Isaiah 54.17. Anyone who sows a seed in the amount of $40 or over is going to receive a copy of my um, ebook, 
pro entitled Prosperity is Yours in 2021. Anyone who sows a seed of $90 or higher is going to receive a one-on-one -on -one call from me. And any amount higher than $120, you will get a one-on-one -on -one call with me and you will be on my prophetic prayer call. If you sow the seed of $1,023.20, I'm going to call you personally and pray with you and you will get all of the uh, benefits that I described above. But, but there's someone, you're, you need a real miracle. You need God to open a door for you. And it's a door that you know it's going to take God to do this. And so if that is you, sow the seed of $1,023.20 and watch what God does for you in the next 40 days, which will be around May the 25th. Hallelujah to God be the glory. You can sow on my PayPal page at Prophet Dana Reese, um, or you can sow on my Cash App at Prophet Dana Reese number one. You can sow on Venmo, Chime, Facebook Messenger, Apple Pay, Walmart to Walmart, Western Union. My mailing address is P.O. Box 21834, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72221. Hallelujah. There's someone, you have a family member who's ill. They're sick. They've been in an accident. They're sick. You need to get a seed into this anointing for their healing in Jesus name hallelujah to God be the glory there's someone watching you were hurt in a relationship situation someone betrayed you someone did you wrong you you someone really treated you in a way that you were not expecting and a door shut and you're heartbroken about it get a seed into this anointing I feel the anointing double portion anointing seed God's going to give you two new friends for every person that left. Or if it was a husband or a boyfriend, God's going to send you somebody new. He's going to send you that new client, whoever it was, someone that you were really trusting. They, they really surprised you in their behavior and they left your life. God is saying, don't chase after them. Don't cry anymore. Um, sow a seed into this anointing and God's going to send you two divine doors to replace that one door that shut. Maybe you have a financial situation. Maybe you were expecting a loan or, or finances from a particular way and that door shut. God said get a double portion seed into this, into this soil and you're going to see two new doors open. That double portion seed can be any amount. It can be the $40.00. It can be um, the 5417, the 120, the 91, the 2320, or the 1023 or 230. So any amount you want to sow, but $40 was specifically the amount that God gave me for that double portion seed. Hallelujah. There's some people watching. You need clarity. You need wisdom in a situation. You need confirmation. If you want to speak to me, if you want me to pray with you, uh, that amount is $91 for a one-hour prophetic impartation call. I um, got a letter, an email the other day from a woman of God. She was dealing with a business situation. She didn't know whether to sign a contract or not. Um, for She didn't know which job to take first of all, and then she wasn't sure about the contract. So I walked her through the process. I didn't tell her what to do. I just kind of helped her, you know, work through it so that she could get clarity on it. And I gave her a recommendation on, I said, you know, contact a legal service, have them look at that contract. Well, she did that and she got clarity and peace about it and signed it. So these prophetic prayer calls, God moves in a powerful way on these calls. So if you need to reach out to me, send me your prayer request. I'm here for you. Email me at prophetdanareese at gmail.com. If you want to get on my email list, just email me. Say, Prophet Dana, put me on your email list because I will be sending emails out. I'm also a, transform, a certified transformational professional life and relationship coach. So I will be getting in touch with those on my email list as well about... Um, uh, my coaching business. 
I really want to know how I can assist you and how I can serve you. So that's where my heart is at. So God has a new door for you. He has a new place. He has a divine assignment for you. Don't grow, don't despise small beginnings. God takes the small and he increases it and he is increasing you. I decree and declare that he is perfecting everything that concerns you, that God is opening new doors. He's bringing you to a new place and a new people. And there's, there's someone on this line, maybe more than one person I'm seeing, you were in a church, some things happened, some drama and trauma happened, maybe some Jezebel spirits. I, I'm not seeing exactly what happened other than there was a lot of trauma around it. So because you're a person of integrity, you obeyed and you were in a leadership position. I'm not seeing you as a pastor, but you were in some kind of supporting position of leadership and because you're a person of integrity you knew that you have you know that you have to leave that church and so i'm just here i'm here for you if you want a one-on-one -on -one call with me if you need clarity but move forward because god has a greater door for you because the test always comes before the promotion but God has a greater door for you, so move forward in confidence. There's some people watching, at least one, maybe more people, you lost your job. Some things were, some accusations were leveled. It was unfair. You were treated unjustly, but stand firm and move forward because God is gonna open a better door for you. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. I'm just kind of flowing with the Holy Spirit right now, but God has your back and it might look like you're falling, but God is not going to let you fall. Stay with him, walk with him, trust him. And I decree and declare that new doors are opening. Um, God is sending you new friends, new connections, new associates. God is sending you greater. So let go of the past, move forward and because there are new doors in front of you. Get a seat into this anointing and watch what God does in your life in the next 40 days. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'll talk to you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.